the birds are like chirping today. Like, I don't know if it's like the season of love or something like that, but there's a lot of wildlife in my backyard. Like there's always like bunnies and squirrels and birds. And, and I feel like today they're just, you know, out there like tindering it up. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it's springtime. You know, Adeline, Blue needs a boyfriend. Gus is out here looking. He's a lot younger than her, but you know, we love an older woman. We love an older woman. So I thought that I would review this palette, the Adeline Morin Tarte High Performance. You know, there's her little French Bulldog Blue. I just thought I would give my honest review on the palette. Like, why not? You know, let's just like go crazy. I actually found Adeline on, I think, Instagram? I really like Adeline's vibe. She's really happy and positive and like joyful. I just like watching people like that. I'm gonna try to use a lot of the colors. I feel like they all go really well together. I'm just excited. So since this is the review on the palette, I'm just going to do my face makeup really quick and you'll all check right back in in like a few seconds. Just please hold. This is the Born This Way Foundation in Warm Beige. Just a little thin layer. Naked Skin Concealer in Neutral. I'm gonna prime my eye a little, a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to set that concealer with some powder. While that powder is setting, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the NYX Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Okay, the face is done, and the eyebrows. I'm gonna zoom you guys on in. Let's just zoom in, let's just do it. I'm gonna start with the face makeup. I look like a ghost. So I'm gonna use the color Contour for my contour. We're going to place that. My ear is, you already set my whole face with powder, so this should blend out pretty easily. Adding more and more and more. I'm just gonna blend that around. It's blending out pretty nice. Obviously, it's not as nice as an actual bronzer, you know, but works for me. She's cute or whatever. So that warmed up the face for sure. That warmed it up, okay? I'm liking that. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques blush brush and use the I Feel Beautiful color. Dab it a little bit and place that on my cheeks. It's like a peachy, apricot -y color. Oh, that's pretty. I go over the nose a little bit. You know, that sunburnt look is really in right now. And before I put the highlight on, I'm gonna spray my face with some Max Fix Plus. And while my face is wet, I'm gonna set my face with Promise Ring. This looks like a pretty cool toned highlight. Uh, I'm gonna put that right down the middle of my nose. Kinda emphasize on the tip. Wow, that is blinding. I will say I am more used to using like a warmer or a peachier highlight. But this is, this is really nice. And I might add some Law of Attraction on top just to like make it suit my skin tone a little bit more. But, ooh, just right on the top of the cheekbone, like right when you're smiling, right at the top. A little bit above the eyebrow. Keep it bow, chin. Throw a little bit on this shoulder. Put your right hand in, put your right hand out. Do the hokey pokey. A different brush, putting Law of Attraction on top. Oh, wow. Just adding a little bit on top just so it doesn't look so like stark white on me. That's just my personal preference, okay? And then I'm gonna blend it out with the bigger brush. Okay, so I put a little lip combination on so that my lips don't look naked while I'm doing the eye makeup, but it's the World Lip Liner by MAC, the My Main Liquid Lipstick by the Desi and Katie Collection with those of colors, and then the Sandstorm Lip Gloss by Revlon. And I love Revlon lip glosses. Do not sleep on them, people. Do not sleep on them, okay? They're not a mattress. I'm gonna take a crease brush and I'm gonna use the color Addle Angels and just throw that all over my eyelid. And we're just playing around. I have not played with these colors yet. This looks like a very basic bone color. I'm very excited about it. Putting Mama Morin in the crease. It's coming across a lot more pink on camera, which I love. Oh my God, I love this shade. Yes. Tarte eyeshadows are that bitch, you know what I mean? Like they're that girl. Okay, and then taking the color Girl Supporting Girl. I just kinda wanna see what happens, you know. Okay, that looks cool, yeah. Just a light hint of that yellow. Warmed it up a little bit, added a little bit of that yellow shade. I'm going underneath Mama Morin with Boss Lady. I'm just actually gonna put this all over my whole eyelid. Smoking that out, just a smidge. And then going back in with Mama Morin, just kind of like diffusing those edges so that it doesn't look like harsh or anything like that. Mama Morin on my lower lash line. Okay, and then a little bit of Boss Lady. 
I'm gonna take Girls Supporting Girls, that bright yellow, place that on my inner corner. I love this yellow. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's so fun, like a little bright yellow in the inner corner. I'm gonna put Promise Ring right here on my brow bone. Taking some of the Law of Attraction, and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner, on top of that yellow, just to make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, that's the pop I was looking for, yes. The eyeshadow look is done, so I'm gonna put some eyeliner and lashes on right now. I zoomed it out because I put this lash on a little bit wonky, and that's not the eyeshadow's fault. That's not Adeline's fault. You know, whose fault, whose fault is that? She in the room? Hello? I, I, I rushed it. I rushed it, and I just, I shouldn't have. You know what I recommend this palette? Yes. Are any of the colors groundbreaking? No, but are they good? Yes. And the yellow, kind of groundbreaking, honestly. I love the highlight, I love the blush. I do love the blush. You know, the opportunities are honestly endless. You know, the packaging, cute. Nobody's gonna see this packaging and be like, that's ugly. You know, everybody's gonna look at it and be like, oh, that's so cute. I think my makeup looks pretty cute. But I will say, personal preference, the smell is not my favorite, but it smells like every other Tarte palette. A lot of people do not think that it's overwhelming, but your girl, I just don't like the scent, but I can get past it. You understand? I can get past it. I hope that you guys like this video. If there's any, you know, products that you want me to review, I'm always down to go buy shit. You know, I'm always down. <laughs> so yeah, if this video is boring, let me know because I'll never do a review again. <laughs> always a pleasure. I hope that you guys all have a great day. And yeah, give this a go. Okay, bye.